Okay, children. Now let us start with the practical questions of depreciation. Question number one. A trader purchased a plant on 1st January 2016 for rupees 80,000 and it was decided to charge depreciation at the rate of 20% per annum on the original cost of the asset. So now uh, by just reading the question you can uh, make out the <clears throat> meaning that you need to depreciate the plant okay as per the original cost of the asset so by original cost method we mean fixed installment method or straight line method right now uh, you know the formula okay uh, according to the straight line method depreciation would be cost of the asset minus scrap value or salvage value divided by estimated life of the machine right but uh, in this particular question there is no uh, salvage value there is no uh, estimated life of the machine but you are provided with this rate of depreciation okay so now you will calculate the depreciation according to the rate that is given out here okay so in case of the straight line method you need to read the question and uh, uh, what do you say you need to read the question and see whether you have to apply the formula or the rate of depreciation if the data is provided that is uh, salvage value sometimes the salvage value can be zero also okay but uh, the estimated life will be given okay and if the rate is already given then you should use the rate only okay so 80000 into 20% I hope I have done this out here. Ah, uh, no, I have I haven't done this because it's very simple. No, you you, uh, you can just use the calculator. Uh, so, eighty thousand into twenty percent. Now, the uh, the books are closed on thirty first December. So you need to show the plant account and depreciation account for three years. Now, what is plant? By plant, we mean actually the large machines okay by the way it's a large machine it's not yeah it's not that uh, simple ones it's, the machines are very very large in fact uh, it's a combination of various uh, machines okay so that's why it's called plant okay the, these are very very um, heavy anyway so in the books of dot dot because the name is not given Okay, yeah, he is a trader. Of course, uh, the trader only maintain the accounts. I mean, the books of accounts. In the books of, now you can see out here. Okay, so while watching the video, while watching the numerical videos, especially, okay, I request you to uh, sit with your book, copy, pen, pencil, whatever things are, uh, uh, required, including the calculator. You should. Uh, try to solve questions okay as it is being explained okay just like in the classroom so now uh, plant plant is a real account okay so debit what comes in credit what goes out and plant again i want to say it's a real account that is asset okay so it's opening balance i mean the uh, opening balance it will be towards the debit side and positive side is debit and the negative side is credit okay so remember this now First of all, <clears throat> you will write 2016 or whatever the, the format of date you want to write. Okay, so this is my uh, way of writing the date and the year. You may want to use uh, like on your own way of writing the date and the <clears throat> year. It's your choice. So first, okay, let me just use the highlighter out here so that I can uh, okay, yellow one. Okay. So yeah, 2016. 1st January okay first you will uh, pre prepare this pro forma date particulars amount date particulars amount okay so debit side credit side in the books of dot 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 plant account okay and then towards the debit side you will write on 1st of January 2016 you are purchasing a machine okay so you can either write uh, cash or bank account 
okay you can either write cash account or bank account so i'm uh, so i have written out here two cash account okay but if you wish to write two bank account your choice okay so then you write out your two cash account okay and after that you write the amount 80000 isn't it and there is no other information machine was sold this and that because it's the first question of depreciation okay so then uh, now you need to depreciate the machine okay so the machine costing rupees 80000 gets depreciated every year at the rate of 20% per annum okay so 80000 into 20% it will be how much 80000 into 20% it will be how much 16000 okay so 80000 into 20% it will be 16000 okay so 80000 minus 16000 it will be what what amount 64000 isn't it so when you write this up, uh, amount okay let me just uh, show you okay so before you write this amount out here towards the credit side what you will write you will write the end of the year 2016 december 31st because you are about to close the date i mean uh, close the books of accounts now then you will write by depreciation account 16000 okay and this 64000 this balance is your balance cd okay and then you will draw a single line okay and then you will pull down this total amount 80000 and after writing this uh, 80000 you must uh, draw double line because double line it means the, the gross total okay 80000 and you can see out here this is your 64000 this is your balance cd and the next year this balance cd it will become bd next year that is in the year 2017 january 1st okay 64000 64000 i hope you are solving step by step you can pause the video okay it's not compulsory that you will first watch the video and then you will learn no 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 this is please don't do this kind of stupid thing because it is accounts so you need to understand step by step things okay and now the next year that is opening date closing date 2017 december 31st same thing by depreciation because depreciation according to the original cost method it will remain same every year that's why it's called a straight line method fixed cost method or original cost method or simply cost method 16000 same thing 64000 minus 16000 will be how much 48000 so you will write 48000 out here and you will write buy balance cd and after that you uh, pull down this uh, total amount 64000 64000 okay again this 48000 it will be balance bd out here next year okay again the 2018 december 31st by depreciation okay 16000 and 48000 minus 16000 will be how much 32000 and now uh, pull down this total amount 48000 and 48000 and again the cd 32000 it will be bd out here in the next year that is uh, 2019 and uh, you were asked to prepare plant account for three years right so you have already prepared for three years first year 2016 second year 2017 and uh, third year is 2018 but however this cd it will go to the uh, fourth year as bd okay and then you will stop the work okay so i hope you understood this uh, preparation of plant account now let us move on to depreciation account depreciation is a nominal account it is an expenditure so uh, we will start with the debit side only okay same thing i mean the fo format is same date particulars rupees amount uh, particulars amount okay so the first year the first year depreciation was how much 2016 december 31st what was the amount 16000 and uh, where it was charged by the way to plant or machinery or furniture or computer motor van what type of asset you have to name the asset out here so you will write the name of the asset to plant account okay and then you will write the amount 
16,000. Okay? This is the first entry that you will write towards the debit side. 2016. And remember, every year, in case of depreciation account, every year, in both the side, be it in debit side as well as in the credit side, the uh, in the first entry, I mean the first entry, it will be on the last date. Okay, the first, uh, uh, for the first time when you record in the transaction in the books of depreciation account, uh, the first entry, it will be on the last date, both the sides, debit side and the credit side. So debit side, 2016, December 31st, two planned accounts, 16,000. And uh, you must write the same in the credit side as well, isn't it? You must balance this because this is what about, you know, this is uh, the concept of double entry bookkeeping, right? Same date, 2016, December 31st, buy balance CD, 16,000. Because the total out here is 16,000. So th the total of this credit side also should be 16,000. So balance CD, it will be 16,000. Now this CD, you know, CD becomes BD and CD is the, uh, uh, sorry, uh, CD is on the closing date, but BD is always on the opening date. So BD, this BD, it will be on the 1st of January, 2017. Two balance BD, 16,000. And again, this year, 2017, on December 31st, depreciation, again, it will be charged for the next year, isn't it? Two plant account, 16,000. Uh-oh. 16,000. Okay, so 16 plus 16, how much? 32. Right, again, the total amount. And 2017, last date, December 31st, because it, it is the time to close the entry now. Buy balance CD. 32,000. Okay. And this CD, it will become BD in the next year, 2018. January 1st, 32,000. Okay. And again, on this year only, uh, the last date, December 31st, depreciation will be charged on the plant for the third year, 16,000. So 32 plus 16, how much? 48. So you will draw a line out your single line and then 32 plus 16, it will be 48,000. Uh, okay, double line. And uh, this uh, 2018, December 31st, that is the last date. Buy balance uh, CD, okay, 48,000. Okay, and this 48,000. And again, this CD, it will become BD on this on uh, January 1st, 2019 to balance BD, 48,000. So this is how you... Uh, calculate the depreciation amount. Oh yeah, I have, uh, sorry, I had shown out here this thing, working note. So I hope um, you understood how to prepare plant account or any kind of asset account and the depreciation account. Okay, now you can try question number two. Uh, Two, three, four, okay, whatever number you can uh, try, you can try. You can try this up to question number nine. Okay, you can try. Uh, but I will see if there's any kind of uh, asset purchase and uh, I mean, if any assets are being added, then uh, I will let you know. Okay, so this is the first video from depreciation numericals.